Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at more battery related problems with the Jaguar F-Type. It seems to be a never ending story with this at the moment. In the last video, I spoke around checking your battery for part of your winter safety checks. And beautifully ironically, as I got in the car, a warning light came up on the dashboard telling me my battery's low. Which is really strange because this thing lives on life support in the form of a trickle charger that is constantly plugged in every time this thing's parked. Now, as you would have seen in the last video, I replaced the battery. I came under here, put a brand new genuine Jaguar battery back in here. I came out the following day and again, low battery warning. So I think either something's draining this or I've got a problem with my, my battery charger. So I'm using a C-Tech MX-5 Pro. Now what I've got and bought is one of these, a C-Tech CTX. It's a battery condition monitor. It's Bluetooth, it connects to your phone, and it will give you a full graph readout of your battery health over time, so I can see exactly what's happening with that battery. About 35 quid online, so hopefully this will give me an idea of what's happening with the battery before I start going spending money chasing problems around the car elsewhere. So let's get this fitted and see if we can get it working. So the kit is dead easy to install. Two connectors, comes pre-fused already, which then talks to the brain of the device here. Two spade connectors there, or they like fault connectors, prong connectors, that should go quite nicely under both of the terminals with a 10 mil nut there. So let's get that on, let's get the cable routed nicely and out of the way, and let's get it fired up. That needs tightening up. <laughs> I've got to think about what angle this comes out at because I've got to get this plastic cover back on here. So I think, looking at this, it's going to be best coming out of there like that. So I can get on top of that spade crimp. There we go, perfect. Let's get that on. Oh, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> there we go. I'm going to grab a 13mm and tighten that up while I'm here. That's, that's shocking. You get the good, the bad and the ugly with this channel, guys. And that, that is the bad and the ugly. Let me tighten that down. Perfect. Nice. This is the trickle charging port that we plug into when we park. And I want to get the, the other side of this, so the, the, the neutral, the negative side of this, plugged into the spade connector over here. Nice. That's on there nice and tight. So in theory now, this should be live. This should be live. So let's, um, let's try and connect that to the app and see how we go. So that's it, fitted. That took all of probably about a minute and a half to physically fit the thing. Once you'd expose the battery, another couple of minutes to then route the cables to a place where it's safe and secure. The car's plugged back into the trickle charger, so let's let's hop inside. We don't need to be outside anymore. Let's hop inside and start having a look through the app and see, um, it, you know, through time, once it's been on for a little while, what that battery graph's looking like. So guys, we're indoors, we're in ground zero. This is where the this is where the magic happens. This is where the videos get created. We've left the battery monitor on overnight. Let's have a look at what it's been spitting out. So you can see here, it's telling me the battery is 100% charged, battery okay. 
you've got your, it gives you like a rag report, red, amber, green, and it's telling me that it's 100% charged. You can see there, it's just thrown up what each of those different indicators mean. And you've got three different graphs down the bottom here. So it will tell you state of charge, your temperature, along with your voltage, which was the first one we were on. Now, interestingly, what you can see in state of charge, you can see exactly where, if I zoom in on that graph there, exactly where we plugged the trickle charger in and the state of charge went up from about 80% and it's just sat constantly at 100% since it's been plugged in. We can see where the temperature dropped overnight. So that's, that's taken a downwards turn and then you can see it's starting to come back up throughout the day as the weather's warming up. And the voltage, interestingly, took a bit of a dip. I guess that'd be to do with the weather and the cold overnight. And then it's just sat very constantly along there at what I would guess is about 12.6, 12.7 volts. Very intuitive app. You can connect more than one device. So it will tell you exactly there when it was last updated, last connected. And if I was to have more than one, you could scroll through there and it would it would tell you you would just click up here to add a new sender and go through and do exactly as the guide is telling you there so all in all a really really easy thing to fit really intuitive thing to do on your phone would recommend it for 35 pounds it's a good way of keeping up to date with what's happening in terms of your battery health it will send you push notifications to your phone to let you know if anything changes so yeah Hopefully that was useful to some of you. As always guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please think about smashing that button, turning the alerts on. But for now, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah!